Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. In this video, I'll be taking you through the paintwork on this set of wheels. They're off a of Ford Festiva. So, the preparation work's already been done. As you can see, what I'm using here is a wax and grease removing solvent. I'm then going over them, being quite uh, particular. You get right into those edges. It takes a, it's a bit of a tedious job, but it makes, it's important you do it correctly. So somehow I missed out on the first uh, coat of base coat. I think I I thought I was recording, but I got home and I just uh, looked at the footage and it wasn't recording. So, but your first coat you don't want it on too wet because a lot of people like to make their cars look really nice and they put those silicon based tire shines on and that's going to cause a whole world of problems when you start painting so first coat of base coat never too heavy just dust it on and uh, after that you can just go another medium wet coat um, I ended up only having to put two coats of colour on these wheels and they, they covered up because I'm using stand up solvent and it, um, it covers quite well so uh, prep work uh, I've actually just uploaded a video just prior to this one um, which goes more in depth uh, on how to prepare this actual set of wheels. So these wheels were originally um, quite uh, scraped up. They've been smashed up against the gutter when the car was in an accident. So um, now we've got our base coat on. We've given that a few minutes to dry down. Um, I've on the settings on this gun. I've wound the fluid into about one and a half turns out and um, I'm probably not even actually using all of the pull on that trigger I'm actually feathering it in and just being real careful if you, if you can um, see the, the finger I'm only just pulling it in just real slightly um, another good tip when doing wheels like this with many spokes in it um, being that they're so prone to running because uh, you're trying to get a spray gun uh, that sprays straight uh, into those all those different angles um, a good trick is to thin the uh, clear out a little bit more than usual so um, they recommend usually you go 10% but when doing wheels I'll probably go to about 15% reducer and um, use a fast hardener, fast reducer and there's also some products on the market. Uh, the one that we use is called uh, it's by it's the Upol brand, Upol brand, and it's called Paint Rocket. Um, if you're starting to paint a lot of wheels, that that'd be a, a great thing to, to buy because it just uh, speeds up the um, the drying of the paint. Um, basically, you do anything you can to speed up the drying of the paint because um, less less prone to running and uh, close the fan off a little bit on the gun and um, you really also don't want to overload uh, too, you don't want too much material on wheels that's another reason why you want to thin it out a bit too um, you're not going for dead flat finish on a set of wheels you just need to just get the paint on just get the clear on and um, I still put two coats on um, but you, you, you're not really going for the, the thick thick wet finish on the set of wheels because um, once they, if you end up getting scratches, which they usually do, you're always going to get a scratch. It's going to start flaking off in big, uh, big sections if you do put too much material on there. So, um, what else can we cover? Yeah, so we'll basically always uh, just do one side of these vents, uh, and then you'll turn back around and then do the other side of the vents and walking around in a circle. Um, a good way to not get lost, uh, it's easy, you're going around in circles, a good way not to get lost is just start, um, you see where you've got your um, the valve that we've cut out uh, the, to pump the tyres up, um, you just start there and then you work, see how I'm starting at that valve, work your way around, do one side of the, the spokes and then come back around and do the other side of the spokes and then we'll do that inner of the rim and then we'll just give it a quick quick go over the top and then go around the sides and that should about say it done so yeah just make sure you you wind your fan close close your fan up just halfway you don't need a uh, full fan uh, when you're spray painting wheels because you're not painting such a, a big area as you would be when you're painting a panel so 
Um, this just about brings this job to a finish. Um, I actually forgot to get footage of the, uh, the wheels when they were back on the car, so here's a quick look at them when they're done. I'm pretty happy with how they came up. Nice and glossy. And here's a couple of other vids. Check these two out if you haven't already seen them. So thanks again for watching. This has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.